This will be catastrophic. Cue the fire. And it's not just me who's saying that. Actually, I am taking these words directly out of the mouth of Janet Yellen and Banks. The CEOs are saying, prepare, prepare for the default and the end of the dollar. And I say, well, what do the charts say? So we will look at that to see where these trillion dollar players are moving their money. Because in the end, you have to ask, is this just part of the clown show? Okay, it's all right, oh, this is fun. Pop the confetti, they probably all come together like, okay, so since this is a clown show, we should have balloons, yes. Launch the balloons. And coming in from breaking news, and she's on Fe Valentine's Day, come on, Janet, have a heart. She describes, Yellen describes, economic catastrophe that will result if debt limit isn't raised. Oh, what do you think they're gonna do after the 80th time? Sorry if I missed it by one or two. Treasury secretary, not the Fed. She's over there, she's the secretary. Janet Yellen warned on Tuesday of potential economic catastrophe if Congress and the White House fail to take action to raise the federal debt ceiling, which is great for you. So that means what? You get uh, higher taxes? Ah, wunderbar. And the direct quote from Yellen, in the long term, a default would raise the cost of borrowing into perpetuity future investments. Why didn't I just pause at the period? That gives you a time to take a break there, bravo. But basically, to summarize, everything will cost you more. I know she looks so concerned. And then you might even ask, well, has the uh, US ever defaulted? The answer is yes, many of times, but it, it's, it's how you wanna look at it. For example, we'll hold all of your gold for you and whenever you need it, you come get it. Other countries, we got this vault over here. And in 1971, we said, ah, uh, we're all out. And as most of you believe, gold is money. And the rest of the world said, pay us our money. And the U.S. said, well, do you want sheets of paper? Huh? I'll, Janet's like, I'll even sign it for you. Coming in from the, from the hill, the U.S. has never defaulted on its debt. Well, except the four times it did. I know you could say, well, did it really? I'm like, come on. Get, money is gold. Give us, give us the money. Well, no, 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 hold on. We got, we got sheets of paper over here. Take these sheets of paper, right? I'm sorry, that's a default. 1862, the default on the US government demand notes, ta-da! And then we had a sweet little 1933, you guys remember that? Oh, we just keep on a going. And then 1968, which you guys know, silver is also money, refusing to honor its explicit promise to redeem its silver certificates for sheets of paper. No matter how much kids they teach you in school that this, this is money, this is not money. This, huh? Huh? It's, this is money. That's just paper. You could actually just print that right off your home printer, but then they'll throw you in jail for counterfeiting, even though that's what they do. Because there will only be one drug dealer on this corner, right? Man, that's it. They're like, we got this corner. It's kind of like in high school when uh, my students would sell candy. And I'm like, oh, you can get in trouble, but you'll make maybe a hundred bucks a day. And then they'll send you to another school and you could probably sell candy there. They don't want you to do it because that would be competition for them. So, and that's why I said, okay, kids, just sell you know your candy online or little plastic things. So I taught them how to do that. One of my students made $10,000 a month. And then I had kids, the, the candy sellers, that was about a hundred bucks a day. They'd even go on the on the bus because all the kids were really hungry. They're like, the kids don't even live there. They just get on the bus to sell food, drinks. Oh, soda, soda, candy. One of my kids got busted, and uh, the the principal calls me and she's like, um, he looks like a walking Seven Eleven. And I was like, oh, be nice to the kid. He's really nice and he's making more money than his parents. And I'm not even actually lying on that one. He was online and I'm and they're like well, well we'll we'll take it out on you I'm like please fire me which I actually got this close one time because I ordered pallets of fidget spinners before they you even knew what they were before they were completely obnoxious and I'm giving them the kids to make money and they're like you can't do that you got to make sure it goes through the office and then they support it right and they get the money from it that was horrible that's what they would do they'd have these kids start up businesses and this was junior high they just put the worst 
undertone in capitalism and the kids would spend all their money, okay, then they'd have to give, give it all to the school. I'm like, this sounds so bad. And you wonder why our system from the top all the way down. But hey, coming in from CNN, the most untrusted news source, the CEO of America's second largest bank, I think this is time to listen, is preparing for possible U.S. debt default. Now, imagine if this black swan is actually sitting next to you in the driver's seat. You just are like, this seems odd, but eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Because sometimes the most obvious, I'm like, you didn't see the black swan. He was just, he was looking at you. You were like, uh, you were, you were FaceTiming me and I saw him looking at me, looking at you. I get it. Sometimes it's so hard. Who do we believe? I don't know. I, I just say, believe the charts, whatever. We just build our little island, have fun. Oh, but Cash Cardi says there's not going to be a recession. I completely believe that clown. But I mean, CNN is very balanced, right? Right, you guys? I mean, look at these stories. Bank of America, so we're all we're all gonna die. Federal Reserve, now we're fine. Uh, the system is stressed out. Uh, CEO, we're all gonna die again. And you say that I come with doom and gloom? <laughs> look around. I know you look around and everything is strong as hell. Yep, 100%. Just don't ask anyone. US debt default could trigger Dollars collapse, huh? Huh? Wonder if, wonder if the charts are predicting that, and severely erode America's political and eco economic might. Well, I, I don't even know. Do do we have either of those? We should head over and look at the dollar to see what's what's the chart tell. Oh wait, I had a Nat gas was actually, it was just up. Oh, it's up. Oh no, it's down. Ah, dang it! All right, I saw green right there, and I, I got all excited. May even have to exit that position. That's just what you do in swing trading, you guys, right? Beat, beat down, one candle close above. You're like, yeah. Sometimes like, oh. Also, we are so far below that 200. This is just a, you know, a hope and a prayer. You get it above the swing trades above that 200. Oh, it's like falling forwards. It's it's almost impossible not to make money. But in regards to the dollar, you have two. You have you have UUP. That's the tradable symbol. If you want to make paper trading money, no financial advice on this channel. Uh, or Dixie, DXY. You can't can't trade that one. And actually looking at this chart, oh, I, I'll just tell you, just by taking a little gander at this, that uh, probably could be the low. Okay. This actually could be a bull flag, which I don't put much weight into bull flags, especially when the flag is longer than the pole, which I think I take that personally because my wife said that to me. She goes, your flag's bigger than your pole. And let's take a look and see where we are going. This is on the four hour. Sorry, I had my four hour. Ascending triangle, that would be bullish. Uh, <laughs> kind of broke, broke bearish on that one. That's a terrible ascending triangle. If you were one of my students, you're like, okay, so I'm going to, Grab this one all the way over here. Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not buying. Oh, hey, it's my little uh, flagpole right there. Which on the daily, you could see it's more gooder. Yeah, that's a. I'm giving you a flag on that one. That's that is bullish. Uh, you break that, which which we broke it. Okay, you know what? Oh, that uh, that flag that flag is is fine. All right. So look, see, see, goes whoop. All right, and then it goes down, and it's like, oh, hold on. Yep. Uh, so on the on the dollar, and I know you all hate it. We're heading higher. Well, that is in the short term. Uh, got above the twenty one. Look, woo. See all the algorithms. Also, uh, before I forget, what is this? This isn't. Uh, this is more like my bear market course rather than my swing trading. Uh, today I'm carrying over today today only. I did my Valentine's, which probably no one even watched my video because you were all doing your 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 V day, right? Everyone was taking care of their V. But yesterday I had my wife come in. I'm like, pick a course, 199. Anyone? She picked bear market, and then I felt bad. I'm like, okay. I said bear market 199, but bull market too. So if you want either of those today only, grab it. Poof, gone. I'd start with swing the the bull market. You would learn the basics. All right, so basics on this one. There's your 200, that's your weekly. The dollar's above on the weekly, so that's good. Uh, dollar is below on the 200, but 
Uh, that's that's going to be resistance. Uh, l- let's get up there. Let's jump above the 200. Let's make these little trades, right? It's like, boop. Oh, you want to know where this one uh, trades out of? Just, just to let you know. On the dollar, you break right there, which it did. It's going to come all the way up here, just like I said it would. <laughs> it's going to hit resistance. Isn't that crazy? The charts will, like predict the future and it'll even tell you what it's probably going to do and then what it'll probably do after that it's going to hit the 200 uh the daily get rejected find support head higher maybe find support on the 200 keep going higher which that will destroy the stock market and your lovely cryptocurrency and if you don't believe me i can just i'll add look you click add We'll do some cues, uh, same as price scale, and I'll show you. And let's start with over here, uh, cues. The, the NASDAQ goes down, dollar goes up. Uh, dollar goes up, NASDAQ goes down. And like, it's just this direct correlation. What do we got? Uh, wh- what's happening here? Uh, dollar goes up. See this? Dollar goes up here. See in this, this area? Uh, NASDAQ uh, goes down. All right. Here we go again. The cues. Cues go up. Uh, well... Yeah, uh, uh, uh. see the dollar is, uh, it's been falling, but now the dollar is starting to move up. So don't, uh, don't, don't, don't uh, put all your eggs in one basket there, my friend. Also, congratulations to everyone that has subscribed to this channel. If you have, I just want to congratulate you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I hope I'm helping you. I don't know how you're able to do all this without going through a, one of my courses. Like you're just following along. I would be so lost. I mean, even me just adding like the cues would be, how did you do that? Huh? Oh, and just to let you know, if in case you're just following along, trying to figure this out on your own, yesterday uh, I did a thousand of uh, of UNG, which as you can see, I'm doing really well on that. <laughs> I did. I it was at the end. I, I had like five minutes left. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, it was kind of live. Well, it's live for me. When I'm filming, I'm like, oh, 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 finally, one candle. All right, I'll, I'll take it. So we got, uh, we got two. When will I close this position? Here, I'll show you. Can I get my finger in there? I can't do it. Shoot. And then then that stupid thing comes right over it. I, if I click that, I close the position. See, oh, that was one. There, there's two greens, so that's that's good. So hopefully, come on, let's 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 bring it up. But if it drops below that red line, well, then I exit. And some go up. Well, hopefully, a, a majority goes up, except for that one. And maybe if I just push that thing up. Come on, come on, get up there. But as you know, we are under the 200, so it falls down real fast. So this is. Actually, something you got to keep your eye on. Don't don't go, oh, I'll just wait. It'll come back someday. No, it won't. I mean, even if you were to look, here's your buy and hold all. I mean, this is a commodity. Shouldn't be a no-brainer. Like, you can... But you got to know when to get in and when to get out. That's the... Uh, you, even with commodities, you got to get in. You got to get out. Stop holding. Look, today, oh, we're up, you know... I'm not. <laughs> well, we're up today, unless you're Johnny Bravo. The week, you're down. The month, you're down 27%. Six months, you're down 72%. Imagine, I'll just, you know, my whole life savings, and I never, I, it's just per small percentages. That's it. Each trade, and every morning, click, clack, click, clack. Year to date, I mean, six months, 72%. That's disgusting. Year to date, one year, down 38%. Five years, but if you've held it ever since the birth of, of Christ, then then you're up. Oh, okay, good job. 12% over the course of 3,000 years. Oh, also, congratulations if you did that one. That was yesterday, a sponsored video. But you got to know how to trade those guys. Again, same thing, up almost 9% today. Congratulations. Take your profit because you are going to be in for a wild ride. But if you know how to ride the ride, it's fun. But if you have no idea, you're like, well, then in the end, everyone dies. Like you probably want to exit ride prior to death. I'm just, I'm saying JP Morgan is this, this is a headline. JP Morgan's trading desk says the S and P 500 could be in for a wild ride after Tuesday's consumer price index report. And I say, I like wild rides. I don't want a boring life. I want a wild life. I actually got that one right. I I was, I'm in such the deflationary, disinflationary camp. Just how the system works. If you understood it, you'd go like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Even how inflation, 
I think that's tomorrow's video. I'm going to talk about inflation and deflation. And it's going to be completely against everything that you've ever been taught in school from CNN to CNBC to mainstream media. But um, I was like, I, I think we're, I think it's going to pop to today, yesterday, the day before. I got it right. Rather than being, you know, a YouTuber that everything's inflation by my gold. I actually do like to understand macro, which is a problem with me. And actually cue the fire a third time probably is a problem with you too, right? You look at macro, again, I'll, that'll be tomorrow's video. You, you end up looking at macro and you trade it that way. That's not a good way to trade. That'll get you into trouble every single time. I mean, my TLT play, my bond trade, that was like pull the diaper off, spank booty, you're in trouble, go to your room for one year. Because I look at macro and I'm like, well, huh, this, this is good. Rather than looking at the charts saying this is bad, because again, the charts will always predict the future. And I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me on this whatever day it is, and I will see you tomorrow. And don't forget to take advantage of today. That's it. Gr grab it. Hur hurry up.